And here we have one of the low budget motors from Banggood, the Racer Star. Uh, this one's the BR2507S, uh, 1800 kV. This one came out a, a while back and, and I thought it'd be interesting because of the large stator, 2507, and low kV. So the main point was to test it on 5S and 6S. So the usual comes in the uh, Racer Star orange box, cardboard. Uh, and just some generic M3 screws and uh, a lock nut uh, with the matching color so I've tested the uh, other sizes like the 2207, 1600 and 2406 motor uh, they're on the channel so you can look at those uh, other size of motors of the same series uh, green and with the base, uh, same basic design so this one it, it's pretty much uh, the same design uh, full base and uh, one piece uh, hardened steel shaft uh, and these, these are um, stainless because they're not magnetic and the uh, multi-strand wire as you can see there on the windings so it's a thin wire and uh, fairly loose uh, air gap right there so the other motors I tested uh, from the same series were not uh, like overly powerful but they they were pretty decent I mean for the price I think these are like anywhere between nine and twelve dollars so these are really low low budget motors so you know can't expect them to perform at the level of a twenty twenty five uh, dollar motor but uh, you know uh, it, it as long as it it get some decent numbers uh, these are a good option for people that want to build on the cheap uh, or people that are just gonna you know like uh, just use them for testing or just trashing about so so you don't end up uh, ruining your you know expensive motors so you're only out uh, if you mess up a motor you're only out 10 bucks instead of uh, 25 or even 30 dollars let's see what it weighs this is a, a a fairly big motor and the usual racer star on this series they've been uh, coming with very short wires uh, those are only around 70 millimeters of wire so not enough to get to a center mounted ESC so that's kind of uh, kind of dumb I think but oh well you know so let's see what it weighs uh, so that's 39.3 uh, suspected it is a, a big uh, stator uh, 7 millimeter high uh, tall and 25 millimeters in diameter so so it's big so let's uh, pull this apart uh, this one's using uh, these uh, cert clips which are a lot of people don't like this anymore uh, I guess they were used to uh, just having screws these days so yeah this one these ones are a little bit more cumbersome to to remove all right so here's the motor taken apart here's the uh, bell and uh, just standard magnets these are not hard magnets that's to be expected out of the uh, low budget motor I think these are 12 bucks so and uh, I don't think there's a lip there on the ring of the bell but I I haven't seen or heard of any of these motors having loose magnets yet so it looks like they do a good job at gluing the magnets uh, so they're not known to having magnet slip so no worries about that and the uh, uh, shaft is uh, nice uh, stainless so that's uh, that's good though they're not using a uh, retaining screw so it's just a, a circlip again I haven't heard of any of, of that having any issues uh, yet so here's the stator looks like a multi-strand wire and I was looking at the Banggood uh, product page and they do say these are supposed to be NMB bearings though I don't see any markings so I doubt these are actually NMB bearings I've seen those and they'll have the markings they'll say NMB and then uh, the bearing size number there uh, so these are uh, 4 by 9 by 4 bearings so anyway that's a good size bearing 
to have those are the most durable especially for a motor this large so let's see what the height of the stator is this is supposed to be seven millimeters so yeah that's uh, uh, seven right on the dot so nominal size so overall typical racer star construction quite decent I think for the price so we'll uh, put this back together and put this on the thrust stand and get some uh, thrust numbers so we can compare this one against uh, other motors with the same usual props you know five and six inch props I'll throw in a seven a couple of seven inch props and see how it does as well uh, so 1800 kV should be good on pretty much uh, four five and six s depending on the prop that you're using so we'll see interesting motor I think it's getting so far good reviews there on the bang good comments so we'll see how it does Alright, so let's have a quick look at the thrust test results for this big motor from Race Star. This one's the BR2507S 1800 kV. Measure uh, right at 1800, so 1813, so pretty close to 1800, so that's good. So based on that kV, I went ahead and tested on 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S, various props. I tried a couple of 5 inch props. This is such a big motor that I didn't think 5 inch would be a good match. But actually what I've been seeing on a few channels on YouTube, people are using this motor for 6S with 5 inch props. Even though it's a heavy motor, I've seen a couple of videos where people just kind of use them for freestyle. And uh, on 6S, this motor is barely uh, breaking a sweat. Uh, doing quite well I think for budget builds so as you can see here on 6s really a monster I mean this thing is uh, putting out quite a lot of uh, thrust and actually it's fairly efficient as you can see here 33.2 amps on 6s remember that's gonna go down in the air once in flight the props on load and uh, that's gonna come down by about uh, 20, anywhere from 25 to 40%, depending on your overall weight. Quite good performance there on five uh, inch. Uh, then I move on to five and a half and six inch, and this motor just keeps pulling, making thrust, easily clearing two kilograms. Uh, still at respectable amps, that's well below 30 amps in flight. These are maximum burst 
amp so you're not going to be seeing these uh, consistently or sustain these are just momentary you know you're only seeing them for a short time then as the battery voltage sags then of course the amps are going to go down too uh, on 5s uh, 6 inch prop also still quite useful here 1600 grams very reasonable 31 amp so motors barely getting stressed uh, 7 inch is probably where this motor is uh, really uh, uh, working when you go to 7 inch and the higher voltages. So I went and tested the 7042, 1900 grams, almost close to 2 kilograms, and uh, that's getting loaded right there, uh, but still uh, quite happy, I think, uh, with this uh, amperage. Again, as the props unload, that's gonna go down, and then on, on 3S, 7 inch prop, uh, 1136, so that's probably not a good match for most people, but uh, I guess if you really are looking for long, long range, and uh, just want to kind of uh, cruise around at low speed that might be a good option what that also tells you is uh, this motor can probably push an 8 and maybe even a 9 inch prop on 3s of course so that's another uh, possible use for this motor 4s 7 inch this is where it starts to wake up 1600 grams 38.3 so still quite good on 5S, that's where the motor starts to get loaded pretty well. So still, I think uh, it could still drive this 7-inch prop on 5S. And uh, 6S might be a little bit uh, pushing it, but could also work, uh, though I'd be careful with temperatures. I would be checking temperatures on the motor if uh, you were to use on 6S. So keep an eye out for uh, motor getting hot on 6S and 7-inch prop. And I also threw in uh, this uh, old uh, Gen Fan 5045BN on 6S just to have a baseline and see what it does with this prop. Uh, it's not a good match, you know, that's a too uh, small of a prop for this huge motor. But as you can see, it still makes a decent thrust. 1554 grams at 28.5 amps, so nothing for the motor. No stress on the motor, so. Uh, I don't know that uh, this could be useful, but there it is. All right, so that's the thrust test results uh, for this motor, the BR2507S 1800 kV, a budget motor from Racer Star. These things cost around 12 bucks, and as you saw on the breakdown, it's not uh, too badly built. Uh, I have seen a couple of people mention that they did get a motor that uh, had some issues with bearings but for this price you know you could always instead of just getting four you could just order five motors in case one is not so good you could just always replace it and as you saw the bearings are pretty much standard so it would be a good idea to uh, also get some bearings some good bearings nmb bearings if you can find them uh, uh, just uh, get them uh, and just replace them as needed so overall a decent uh, motor from racer star and could be an option for a budget bill all right that's it for this test uh, thank you for watching and until the next one